Hey, I'm Cher, and welcome to Readings. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Welcome new subscribers. So nice to have you here. Before we do a Pisces reading, yes indeed, Pisces, we're going to give just a quick shout out to Tina B, Becky C, Kay Lee, Jennifer Underwood, Dave Campbell, Augustine D, June, Pisces Garden Tarot, Franklin Sharon, uh, Cherry M. Cherry, whenever you're ready to rejoin us, we'd be more than happy to have you. Blessings to you, darling. Char C, Divinely Guided Angel RP, Sen Jody, Itzy 41, Eric Damp House, and, of course, Zoe. We're going to pull an Eckhart Toll, a new earth by Eckhart Toll. We're going to pull a spiritual card for Pisces before we begin the reading. Let's see what spirit has picked for you. Okay, I need my magic wand. Let's go, Pisces. The next step in human evolution is not inevitable, but for the first time in the history of our planet, it can be a conscious choice. Who is making that choice? You are. And who are you? Consciousness that has become conscious of itself. Chills, darling. Chills. I'll write that in the description box below. Think it over, meditate on it. We're going to the Gilded Tarot by Cyril Marchetti. We're going to throw a Pisces reading out. Let's go. Pisces. Let's give him a break. Pisces. This is your daily reading. Pisces. Please, Spirit, go easy. Nothing too intense. Let's go. Pisces. Let's get her on and let's get her done. Let's go. Get her on, let's get her done. Come on, Pisces. Left out in the cold and feeling like crap. Well, there it is. Left out in the cold and feeling like crap. Nine wands, down on one knee, feeling pretty, feeling pretty crappy about the whole damn thing. Oh, something about this great lover. Something about this great lover. You, know, you probably were marriage minded. You might have been living together. Might have been planning on moving in. Maybe even had thoughts of moving in. Redecorating. Getting her on and getting her done. So what do I have there? Oh, that's spirit speaking. I had too much thought. When I got here with the king of thinking right there. Huge Gemini here. Gemini with the lovers. Gemini with the king, king of air. The king of air is thought. Moves swiftly. Moves fast. What have I got? Marriage card in the middle between these two. So what have I got here for you, Pisces? What? There might have been overreaction in thinking here. There might have been quick connection. We've made love a few times. We've been together. And this might have moved really fast with this king of air. Might have moved really quickly. And then the thinking came in. This is the one. We're going to get married. We're going to move in together. I'm moving in with them. We're going to do this and that. And lots of fast planning is what I'm seeing. Something about karma. Something here now about karma. Karma. On one side, we've got a lot of thought. On the other side, 
we've got the Nine of Cups. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so a lot of thought, as I just said, led to what's on the other balance, the Nine of Cups of Wish Fulfillment. Now let's bring these cards together. Come on, Pisces. Let's not just read one card and say, that's that. Let's bring them together. All right? Sex, love, boudoir time, togetherness. And marriage and thinking. Fast. Just fast. Fast action. On one side of the balances of Lady Liberty here is a lot of thought. And on the other balance was, this is my wish fulfillment. Oh, boy, this is jumping into a situation with both feet, not testing the waters. Jumping in with both feet. Took your passion, probably took your word, took your love to somebody, and your heart was Freaking broken, left out in the cold, and now feeling like crap. I really do feel that maybe this might have been a lot one-sided, Pisces. Can't let it go, though. Holding on to it very, very tightly. Holding on to that wonderful dream that you had for the two of you. Spirit. Go easy, spirit. Go easy. Am I upside down? No, I'm not. So the chariot is in the reverse. Damn, the chariot's in the reverse. Okay. You know, as sad as it sounds here, but I really do feel Pisces. This was a very one-sided connection. One so, so wanted such a wonderful things out of this and the other, well, kind of didn't. With the chariot not going anywhere and Pisces, it's time to use your intuition, make a judgment call on this. With the Queen of Swords raising that sword, it's time to make a judgment call here. Manifestation has not worked. Manifestation has not brought this person back. The only thing that has happened here was there was a very painful ending. Let's keep going. Pisces, I do feel, however, is that you're going to get almost like a feeling like, like the divine wants me to reach out and talk to them. This is a very, very sad, sad story. It's almost like the divine, uh, you're telling yourself that God wants me to talk to them. God, God has brought us together. Uh, the divine has brought us together. And you're kind of looking at it that way. When I have the divine, when I have conversation, when I have you looking at it in that way, looking at it in what way? That it's divine connection, that God himself wants us to be together, that it's divine. I really do feel, Pisces, that you're going to reach out. Here comes the conversation, but I don't see the conversation coming on the other end, Derriman. I just see this one-sided conversation here. Use your intuition and move away from this. With the Six of Swords, get the hell out of Dodge, darling. Use your intuition, Pisces card. You, you are the knower of secrets, but I think you get yourself talked into something here that's not real. You are the knower of your own secrets here, though. And when the Six of Swords comes in, tell them, go to some calmer waters. Truthfully, what I'm seeing is just a one-sided love here, unfortunately. 
We've all been there. We've all been there, darling. You've got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of emotion for somebody with the king of love here. you got a great love and a lot of emotion. But spirit is urging you to step from this cycle and step into the next one. And there you'll find your son, Pisces. There you'll find health and healing and well-being. So, obviously, this is not meant to be. So, when I also have the tickety-boo card, once you move away, once you step out of the cycle, once you go to some calmer water, you'll find your healing. And you'll find you with the tickety-boo card. So, Pisces, finding the sun and finding you again. Hard reading. Hard reading, and it's a shame because you get so much love for somebody that doesn't reciprocate. So I have Pisces, I have Leo. Uh, Taurus is here, Pisces again, Pisces again, huge Pisces, Pisces. Virgo, Leo, Libra, Gemini, Cancer. Libra again, Gemini again. And with the lovers, Gemini, again, huge Pisces, 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 Gemini, Pisces, Libra, Pisces, Virgo, Pisces, Taurus. Okay, so that's what I have for you today, my darling. A rough reading, but you'll know who you are. Namaste, darling. Thanks for joining me today. And namaste.